Greetings. Okay, so the question is, do you have the life that you want? Are you depressed and is that getting in the way of the life that you want? Well, although there are many uh, factors involved in uh, the causes of depression, sometimes uh, something that causes depression and contributes to it is the fact that we're not going after the life that we want. A lot of times people say, well, I'm not, you know, I'm procrastinating. I'm sabotaging myself. I, I have no energy. I'm so depressed. I can't go out and meet people and, and network and do things. I can't finish projects because I'm so depressed. Uh, but actually, it, it's oftentimes the other way around. It's oftentimes the fact that uh, they're not going after their dreams, that they don't have the life that they want, and they're not taking steps to get the life that they want, that this, uh, over time, generates depression. And depression slowly and gradually builds and, uh, and gets worse to the point where the depression becomes the focus rather, you know, and, and, and is believed to be the cause of the inertia rather than the fact that there was inertia which caused the depression. So the key is in, the, in this form of depression is to recognize the fact that you're depressed because uh, you don't have the life that you want, whether it's uh, the relationship that you want or the job that you want, <coughs> excuse me, or uh, the, the, the hobby, the, the outlet of creativity that you want. I mean, if you don't, if you're not doing anything to uh, create a, a future that will be invigorating and exciting and challenging and creative and, uh, you know, and that will nurture you and support you emotionally, if you're not doing anything, you're going to be depressed. And if you start taking steps... Uh, the depression will go away. And again, I, you know, there are many forms of depression. There are many causes of depression. Uh, but uh, oftentimes, you may, you, I mean, you may have the, the relationship that you want, but it's not what you want. And by that, I mean you may have the person that you want, and you may uh, have, have a relationship that has deteriorated to a point where it's not satisfying, but it can be. It can be if you put the energy into repairing it, if you put the energy into communicating more effectively, if you put the energy into uh, how can I help him or her, uh, you know, rather than uh, keeping score as to what uh, he or she is doing for me. You know, in terms of uh, a career, if you don't have the career that you want and there's nothing you can do about that, then you still need an outlet of expression, something to make you feel vital and, and creative and so you need to have some sort of hobby, some sort of uh, social interaction or some sort of hobby, uh, and you need to get into it. And you need to uh, take steps to uh, have a source of, of joy, a, a source of creativity. Uh, oftentimes people uh, avoid other people because they don't want to deal with the usual questions of how's it going? What are you up to? Because they're not up to anything and nothing's going on. So when you start to like make some things happen, have some plans, have some hopes, have some dreams, have some hobbies, some activities that you're getting into and you're enthusiastic about, then you're more inclined to want to socialize because you're more inclined to want to network. You're more inclined to want to answer those questions of like what's happening and what are you up to and how's it going? You're going to have answers and you're going to have enthusiasm. You're going to have joy. So depression isn't always about a chemical reaction, a chemical imbalance that just kind of happened to you. And it isn't always about something that just runs in families. And it, is, it oftentimes has to do with your perception of yourself, your perception of yourself in the world, uh, what steps you're taking to manifest the life that you want. Think about it. Okay, take care. Peace be with you.